just going to apologize now. If I do an accent and it offends someone, I'm sorry that you're sensitive. Hello, everybody. It's, oh my God, it's been so long. I'm so happy that we're doing this again. Okay, so for quick context, right? You've basically been on a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torn of the Golden Country drought on this channel. You had the very first episode that went back up in what must have been February when we first launched this channel, our channel. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> then March, April happened. We started Bayonetta. We finished Bayonetta. We had the update video and you had those two cute little episodes where there was just zero voice acting because the way that I work is I like to record my gameplay and I like to record the voiceover separately. But doing Bayonetta taught me, hey, it's okay to fuck up with your sight reading. So, <laughs> guess what's come back? Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Town of the Golden Country! Which means all the voice acting and all the characters and all the personalities and all the life and all the conversations that they have when they're not in cutscenes gets to come back as well. So, expect some quirky voices, is what I'ma say. But without further ado, I think we're gonna get back into the world of all rest. It's you, it's me, it's good. Let's go. Right, so we have Hugo. I'm just trying to remember where we were now. Um, we picked up Hugo and our current objective is power unimaginable. Okay, right, so. Open it up and quest log. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Head for Valafum Hill in Gormot and investigate the area for signs of Malos' destruction. Yeah, simple enough. Okay, so. I'm gonna pick up this quest because we good. And then. Uh, how do I swap? Yeah, nope. Oh yeah, that's it. You'll have to forgive me. Because it's been like a hot, hot minute. So I've got to learn controls and everything again. Uh, change order. Yeah, because uh, Laura's doing something with the grave, isn't she, in Gormot? Is it? No, in Torigoth, in Gormot, yeah. And we've got Adam, Laura, and Hugo. And I said that we were going to play as Hugo for a bit until we get Laura back, I think. Because I said, and I know I said in the first episode that we were going to do primarily Laura gameplay. Yeah, okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll focus on using Hugo then today. And we will head, hi, friend. Yeah, you die. <laughs> Keep a calm head, everybody. We've got this. Let's go. God, it's been a long time. Come on, Adam. Pick it up. I say Adam purely because it's weak. This noble Asper is weak to electric, so, you know. This is fine, this is fine. Right. Oh, actually, give me that. Yeah. See, we don't even have to worry. We're fine. We're fine. We're doing good. This is a good start to today. Let's have a look. Right, so, we need to go up that way, I think. Let's head there, then. Nope. Well, come on, then. Get close. Attack Dinch. Right. Oh my god, why is it so far away? Get close. Right, okay. I do like to grind up a bit in Xenoblade games. I don't know if I've mentioned that. It's been a long time, and I haven't been back to watch those episodes. I've always Scottish to do this. I've always wanted to do this. Do this. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Celsius Taos. Uh I don't think we're particularly strong enough for it, so uh, Hi. You see me on site, you wanna fuck me up? Okay, let's go. Fine, we can do this. Yeah. 
Bridget. Let's go. Oh no. Okay. I'm not ready for this, I don't think. Big ass the speed of Ferris. You know what, actually, I think we're doing good. I don't know how. Yay! That's it. Oh, nice. Right, so, Myth forgot the Twilight Striker art, so, you know what we gotta do. We have to do 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 Check it out. Affinity chart. There it is. One step closer. Love. Simple turn. You use Twilight Striker ten times. Oh, it gets better. <laughs> Defeat a pinch bonnet on the Ordia play a little about Ordia Great Plains in Gormot, etc. Use Terminal Flash. Okay, cool. Defeat a Calibre Scorpox in the Harad, High, uh, Harad Hills in Torna. Right, brilliant. Uh, use Mithra's favorite power items in the desserts category? Eh, not yet. Succeed in a button challenge during battle. Previous instances count toward token. Okay. Uh, so if that's a conditional one, then that must be a story progression thing. Right, okay. Wait, hold on. Never mind, okay, we've got just all question marks for this, so that's fine. Maybe it's just because they've not been unlocked because of these. So, let's carry it on. Yay. Sing, breeze, boo. Bow. Boo. Boo. Whatever you want to call it. Scribo quad wing. Come on, boy. What? Jin! We're not done yet. What just happened? We must consider our options carefully. Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? My hopes are high for this. I don't even know what happened there. Oh well, that's fine. Just random killer quad wing bitch thing. Fine. Fine. Oh wait, hold on. I need to get down here. <clears throat> oh, and legs. You'll be fine, tiny one. A welcome invitation. They'll live to yeah. yeah. Think again. You saved me. Uh, you saved me. Just close. Swap into Bridget. Balafum Hill. If I can make my comrades feel at ease, that is more important than vanquishing a hundred monsters. I absolutely you love are Hugo. A paragon among men, Your Majesty. Precious few would reach the same. Ah oh, shit. Bridget was speaking. Cutscene. Tell me, you finally found the uninhabited Titan? That's right. You made it there without a scratch. The map, the Bard's song, the Elder's legend, it was all true. <laughs> I wish I. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Let me try that one again, Adam. Bah! I wish you could have. Yeah. I wish you could have had some fun after you bonded with me. No fair. And of course, back then I had no idea that I'd be the driver of an Aegis someday. Not a clue. And I also had no idea that I'd end up with a blade who was so hungry for experience. I mean, I prefer it when you have something interesting to say. I choose to take that as a compliment. Well, sure, it was hardly boring discovery that legend It was hardly boring discovering that legendary uninhabited Titan. The natives gave us a fine chase. Natives? I thought you said it was uninhabited? Well, to be precise, we didn't meet any humans there. Just some monsters of the Arachno, Antol, and Skeeter variety. Cool. And there were pretty huge specimens too. They were pretty huge specimens too. We must have looked like extra tempting appetizers to them. There were really quite a lot of them. We were lucky to get off the Titan in one piece. 
Ah, a fine recompense for an adventurous heart. So, your plans to build a holiday villa there came to nothing. It's more than a little tragic. Well, I mean, that wasn't the primary aim. Perhaps I didn't get a material reward, but I certainly got a spiritual reward. Things didn't work out quite so well for my playmates, though. How so? It was a kind of paradise for insects, but I heard later that it was laid to waste by someone or other. The ways of humans are often cruel. What's done is done. It was a time of war, and they had to find a place for some refugees. But the monsters couldn't have grasped that. They probably just saw arrogant humans wrecking their home. Ah, the tailing of it falls hard upon my ears. Your Majesty, forgive my interruption, but it appears to be the location that was mentioned in the report. Oh, fuck! Ah, so we're here already. The journey passed as the blinking. Blah, blah, blah. The journey passed as the blinking of an eye, thanks to Adam's enchanting tales. If your servant's humble recounting was able to relieve your imperial tedium, truly the most blessed of men am I. Wait, what, what, what? Blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. <laughs> if your servant's humble recounting was able to relieve your imperial tedium, truly the most blessed of men am I. Oh, I do wish you'd cut it out, Adam. I am no better than you, and you should know it. I wouldn't be sure of that, Hugo, old friend. Now then, Mithra, I'd really like to get your opinion on this, as the Aegis. Hmm. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this isn't Malus's handiwork. How did you come to that conclusion, Mithra? Malos's attacks would have melted the earth and turned it into glass, but whatever did this only scorched the grass. It couldn't have been such a high temperature. That's a very wise deduction. We're lucky to have you for an ally. I offer him. Did Hugo say that or was that Aegean? I don't know, whatever. No, it's Aegean, okay, right. I offer you my apologies for leading you to this disappointing conclusion. Nay, Aegean, we could not have known without further investigation. With each possibility we dis we discard No. With each possibility we discard, we move all the closer to our goal. Everyone, look here! Oh fuck, it's ugly as shit! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Kill it! It's a big one. Indeed, we cannot let it run riot. Just think of the damage it could do if it got to Luscombe Cove or to a settlement. Everyone, get to it! Let's fuck it up. They've spotted us. Komodo- You bitch! Okay, fine! Let's go! Hey! Okay, right, so... Oh, you bitch! Right, fine. Fine, let's do this. Block. Because it's aggroing on me, I'm just gonna block. And I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna ice a bit. Right, nice. Yes. Swap into Bridget. So if someone wants to come in and topple it, that's fine. Here we go! You were saying. Ah! We nailed it. Yeah! A fire spewing monster? It's a good thing we had a Gian on hand. Perhaps it's bold of me to say, but I've dealt with worse. Well, it seems safe to assume that this was the cause of the burn marks. I would have never dreamt that such a foul fiend could have lain in wait so close to Torigoth. Maybe it was driven out of its original home in a territorial dispute. I've heard that happens from time to time. Yeah, maybe. Or more likely, some human stole and smashed its home up. We call them monsters, but to them, we're the monsters. Indeed, it must be thus. The day shall dawn where man's exploitation of the Titans will bring us all to ruin. Perhaps that dawn is already upon us. 
I love Hugo so much. He's the best boy. Oh, have we got a cutscene? <gasps> yeah. Interesting thing you've got there. Malice enough. It's all right. Indol's most sacred treasure, the Aegis. It is said to be the embodiment of the Architect's light, the divine revelations our founder Maldonare received. Really? Then... That's what I will be called, too. After all, I am born of divinity, not just some reflection. You believe yourself so strong? Hm. Don't you? Your situation doesn't look good. Baltric is not going to let it go. Hmm. And you can't hide behind the Praetor forever. That has nothing to do with you. If that were true, you wouldn't be here. Hmm. Tasty secret, formerly known only to the Praetor and me. The essence of our Judician forebears, originally salvaged from the bottom of the Cloud Sea. Some of it may hail from the fabled land of Moritha. Moritha? Look. This here display is a diagram of what human cells are made of. And then this one here is a blades. Astonishingly alike. Of course. After all, they are descended from humans, too. That in and of itself isn't too shocking. But this... It's the same, isn't it? Just wait. That, that's a core crystal. Exactly. A blade's core crystal contains information not only pertaining to humans. It also records schematics describing all manner of animal tissues. You're saying blades contain detailed information of all living creatures? Not just that. Have a look at this undeveloped part. That is from a titan. It suggests that this particular piece may one day develop into a titan. Isn't it mind-boggling? A message from the Architect, no doubt. From the... Architect? Indeed. This is just what you are after. I wish to investigate this, and learn more of what the Architect has in store for this world, and perhaps claim this knowledge for our own. Including the Praetor? Perhaps. Hmm. 
isn't this in line with your own goals? Well then, I may as well help out. I believe that concludes my mission. So we're here to the flagship. Fine by me. It's a good place for us to exchange information. It's currently moored at Lascombe Cove. Then to Lascombe Cove we go. I do not trust them shady ass bitches. Main story quest. Power unimaginable. Complete. How about next time you help yourself? You found that the destruction was actually caused by a despair rope. Having put the mats to rest, Adam and co. head to Hugo's flagship. So, we need to head that away to the big ugly thing that you see over there. Let's go! Your sword fighting is so boorish, Mithra. You remind me of a rabid gogo the way you swing that sword around. Oh, you're gonna say that to me? You with your swords? Stretch out like Arthanian dog leashes? Actually, I just imagine you walking around with two dogs. I gotta say, it might be kind of a good look for you. <laughs> Can y'all do not? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, for five minutes can y'all two not be at each other's throats, Christ almighty. So much talking, I love them all, they're my babies, they're my babies, they're my little babies, I want to make sure that they all grow up strong and healthy. Hello, over affectionate Murph. Um, do we dare? Do we dare? Do we? Let's creep upon it. I don't know if we dare, guys. Let's do it. No time to despair, my friends. Prudence, Lord Hugo. Prudence. Let's do it. Okay. Come on, Hugo. Attack. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Right. I need to get aggro off of him. Right. Okay. I've got it. Right. As long as I can protect my comrades, there is nothing to fear. Where the fuck? Right, okay. My thanks. Go. Right, here we go. We're doing good. Okay, Jin. I will call upon that in a bit. Right. If I guard, this is how I'm going to re regain my HP. This is fine. So, Jin can do his ice attack and do some like super cool epic damage. Right, okay, nice. Hugo was able to get some HP. This is good for us. Okay, swap into Bridget. See, I'm playing as the tank. I can't heal everybody up this time. Normally, I love doing that in games. And like RPGs, I like to be the cleric or the mage. Oh, hey. Right. Yeah, we're doing good. Right, okay, we need to pick him up. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Yeah, uh, I don't think we're gonna win this. I don't think we're gonna win this. Okay, Jin is out. And so are we. And yeah, okay. See, y'all saw them tiny little orbs swirling around over affectionate Murph. If I had the ability to chain attack, if like once we get Laura, then we will be able to do some almighty damage. So, let's just drop, jump down and hopefully we live. My legs. Oh, my legs. <laughs> I'm just going to apologize now. If I do an accent and it offends someone, I'm sorry that you're sensitive. So, 
It's just I like to try different things with my voice. If it ends up coming as across as something offensive, like if this is not even a proper Scottish accent, then I do apologise, but at the end of the day, you've really got to just take the internet with a bit of more of a... a... a less serious approach. As long as you understand that, then you should be golden. You know what I'm saying, you weak watcher. I just wanted to do this. You daft bastard. Shit! Oh, gimme! Okay, right. Here we go. But aren't you happy this series is back? It's so good. It feels good to be back anyways. So, let me tell you about my day. My day has been good. Now you tell me about yours. <laughs> okay, Mithra, kill it. Yes. Nice one, Queen. Queen of Simpleton Rave. Haha. Isn't this fun? It is. Hugo, you're right. You're right there, man. I've always wanted to do this. Good for you. Ichthyology. Right. Hey. Cooking is naturally learned by doing. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> well, Bridget. It is an honor. I love Bridget. She's so cool. For a fire blade. Right, so. Uh, Firewalk improves evasion by 30% when HP is. Bitch. We could have done with that, like, what, two minutes ago? God damn. Anyway. It's whatever. It's whatever. Oh. Hi. Hello. That's where I need to get back to. You know what? I might want to think about how I'm starting these battles off. Right. Let me pause a second. Let me go into my characters and let me just have a look at Hugo for a hot minute. Okay? Right. So. Enhance Arts. So he's got 194 wonder points or WP or whatever you want to call that as. Right. Adam, what have you got? In your affinity chart, in your... Right, 967. Right, what is it we're looking for? Bonds of Friendship, Sky Render. That one. That's what we need. So we need this first. Shit. More to add to my repertoire. Yep. Excellent. Because that is going to prove to be a godsend in fights. Right, Hugo, where were you at with this? Um, well, shit. Okay, two more skills to unlock. Oh, he's got a lot. Oh, right, okay, so there we'll get this. There's still much experience to gain. And do 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 Ooh, give me that one. Wait, wait, wait. What I should do is I should have a look at Art Assigned to X. Let's you use an art after cancelling an art. Bitch! Oh my god. Right, which one's cheapest? 125, 250, 200, 325. You. There's still much experience to gain. I mean, HP on a tank is incredible. That's why Blissey is such a good Pokemon. Unless you hit her with a fucking rock. <laughs> hey, I don't make the rules. Anyway, so, arts relay. That's what we need. So, we need uh, just under 600. So, 597 more of these skill points. Right, cool. Adam, um, which one do you need again? You need that one. 1,250, uh, 592. Yeah, so you need a lot. Like, ouch. Okay, cool. Accessories. I feel like we need to have a look at this. So, let's see what we've got and what we're working with. Right. Shell cameo. Increases HP restored to self, not using HP potions, by 14%. Actually, that'd be really good on Hugo, since he can do the whole, like, you know, guard, talent, art thing. And when he does that, he regains HP. Like, he'll take damage, but he'll not take as much damage, but he will regain HP. Now with that, it'll boost the amount of HP he will actually regain. So that's really cool. Right, Red Thread. Red Thread extends the range of Driver Blade Affinity by 120 centimeters. Increases agility by 12. Extends the range of Driver Blade Affinity by 110 centimeters. Extends the range of Driver Blade Affinity by 110 centimeters. Increases Ether by 20. Okay, whatever. Right. Expands the window of opportunity for cancelling by... Yeah, gimme. Gimme. Okay, right. Adam. 
Uh, yes, we'll go with that. And wolf shoes. Increase the agility by... Yeah, yeah. For now, we'll stick with this. This is good. Right, okay, so. Can he actually enhance any of his arts? No. Can Hugo? No. Okay, so. This is what I wanted to do in the first place, right? So, shield bash. Okay, physical. It topples the target. Right, okay, so. We need someone to come in and break. Guard shift. Defensive, no reaction, round cutter, physical none, imperial tether, rear guard arts, imperial challenge, adamant arm, banishment, and sword strike. Right, okay. Ah, so when Hugo comes in, he does a smash. Right, okay. I'm just having a look now. Does anyone... Right, okay, so it's Laura and Jin that do, like, the whole break topple thing. Yeah, so we kind of need to hurry up and get Laura again. Right, that can be arranged. Let's get back to Lascom Cove. Here we are. So, jump. And here we go, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to pause you there. It's dark. Right, pause. I'm changing it to daytime. There we go. And now we can see things again. Oh, Minnie. Hey, girl. What's up with you? Oh, hey. Your group's grown since last time, right? I guess that means you can do some pretty cool blade combos with your friends when your friends make blade combo requests, huh? Did you know? Blade combos happen when you chain specials together in the right way. They can have up to three levels, of course. The more you chain, the more powerful they'll be. To keep a play combo going, you'll need to chain the right level moves together with the right timing and stuff. That's where combo requests come in. After using a spatial, accept a combo request and watch the magic happen. Well, that's play combos in a nutshell. Wish I could accept some combo requests, but I suppose you need friends for that. Shut your ass up. Ooh, Krogane. You remember that one knock on from episode 2 A? Say, questing. Well, this is the blade of that. Name's Kragane. Kragane the blade. My driver looks like an overgrown furball, but he's a really seasoned merc. A real hard nut. Thing is, I think he's gone in over his head this time. This job's too much for him to handle. So we've been looking around for drivers with a good track record who'll be able to join him. I can tell just by looking at you that you folks aren't some lousy Sunday drivers. You must have seen real combat. Interested? But first, I want to see how we measure up in a fight. As for the rules, let's say you have to pull off the second blade, second stage blade combo, say about five times. Doesn't matter which elements you use, just do any special, and then any other one that's level two or above, five times. And obviously, since you can rely on your allies for linking up the specials, you might want to try to mix it up. The place, the time, the target's up to you. I just want to know if your blade combos are up to scratch. I may look like a meathead, but I know my ether. I can find someone of your power level to pull off the special wherever you are. Anyway, I've talked long enough. Hopefully you've got what it takes. Quest. Blade coaching. Receive. I said I'd do it, so consider it done. Yay. Tutorials. Hitting an enemy with a blade special. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Hitting an enemy with a special begins a blade combo. A blade combo consists of three stages, and finishing it requires you to move through them in order. The first, second, and third stages of a blade combo require you to hit the enemy with a special that's at least level one, two, and three, respectively, to link them up. You can also link up other team specials. When a team can use a special, a combo request will appear on screen for you to give the order. Think carefully. You can continue a blade combo all the way to stage three with specials of any element as long as you keep the level requirements, but there are some fixed roots. These critical roots number 16 in total, and they're composed of a particular sequence of events. Elements, not events. For example, one such route is fire, fire, light. 
A finished critical route will trigger a special animation and cause extra damage, so be on the lookout for the other 15 element sequences. Okay. Cool. So here's Krogani. Cool. And who this? Mac Mac. Mac Mac. Mac 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 Mac. Okay, let me grab these. I've always wanted to do this. Always wanted to do this. Right, and what we're gonna do is we are oh story. Right. So it was the Sian forces that ravaged this area. Yes. Many troops remained here with no orders after Malos sank their homeland. We're doing our best to disarm them, but... Well, you've seen the village. Sadly, it's happened more than once. The powers that be bicker among themselves, ignoring the larger danger. And right now, that is the one thing we cannot afford. I will go take a look. Incidentally, how has Torna been faring? I'd like to tell you that the people bask in the peace of His Majesty's rule. But I'm afraid that would be a lie. Same as everywhere else, then. Yes? Torna has not escaped Malos's rampage unscathed. If that is so, allow me to offer you the Imperial Army's assistance in this time of... Don't worry about it. This is exactly the reason why Indol entrusted her to me. Ah, so you came. The future king of Torna. I'm glad I thought to send a messenger. King, don't joke about it. Rumors like that could cause trouble at home. I am merely a quester. I hold no such influence. A quester today, but tomorrow? The core's color is different. And she's a woman, too. Mm. Quite lovely indeed. Malos was all brawn and brutish strength. You worry? No, quite the contrary. Everybody knows a blade's appearance bears no relation to their power. You could be the heroine of our resistance. No, I won't be anyone's anything. That's fine now. I have only one thing to ask of you. To rectify the mistake I made. And erase Malos from the face of the world. So that's why... The returning hero, pacifier of the Borderlands, was really just... Never before has a blade broken free and rampaged like this. I can see why Indol would prefer to keep it quiet. They're even rooting support to the militia through Argentum for deniability. And then towards you. I'm just some princeling. Me. Surely, if you defeat Malos, your cover will be blown. If, indeed. But we're not in it for the glory, are we? When we're done, I'll just plow my fields in peace. Your Majesty. Some of our troops have returned to base, but... Is something wrong? They're all reporting something strange. A marauding group of routed mercenaries, trying to avoid any attention. Just remnants, hmm? That is strange. There's not much around here for them, in the way of paid work or opportunities for looting. As your majesty commanded, our men did not engage. 
We confirmed their bearing, then withdrew. And? Where were they going? The village outskirts. But why there? There's nothing but graveyards. <laughs> what the? Oh no. At first, I thought to take it. But I'd made it for her, and I'd like her to keep it forever. So, the bitch is dead, is she? Shime. I had a soft spot for her. <sighs> ha! Guess you learned how to use a weapon, at least. Big change from a tiny kid trying not to piss herself in fear. You're... No! God! You remember me? How touching. A face that ugly, I couldn't forget. Trust me, I tried. Hush! What do you want? Not that I can't imagine. I'm here to take back what's mine, kid. But before that, I'll take a bit of time to express my gratitude to you. It ain't gonna be pretty or quick. Then I'll make that blade watch as I cut you into little sticky chunks just to make sure the last thing he feels is complete despair. I'll hold them up. You get to the others quickly. No use. Hayes, he knew about you. He brought no blades, just more mugs. Exactly. Don't worry. I'm gonna treat you real good before I get to the cutting. Okay, so, Laura and Hayes versus this army. Let's go. Party formation has changed. Level 18, Laura and Hayes. Good luck. Right, hold on. Right, Scurvy Curtis. Get him. Right, we got him. This is fine. Any HP potions we can get in this fight are going to be vital. One, two, three. Gotcha, nice. Right, not you. I want you for this. Aha. Okay, we're doing good. Insufferable Ulysses. <laughs> That's the name. Okay, right. Let's just pick up this and that. And now let's get in. Right, back attack up. But we can't get any back attacks though because he's just going to keep facing us. That's the thing. So, if I just... I don't know. Swap back into... There's no need for me to do that, so... Yeah. Ah! Oh, shit! Right, one, two. Yes! Well done, Hayes! Oh, she got the things! This is good. Hayes got some things. Cutscene. You're... Starting to piss me off. Oi! Surround them so they don't get away! My lady, you have to go. It's all right. He's here. Uh, 
You bastard! No! What's next then? Right leg? Or the left? Or how about... <laughs> enough! That's enough, Jim. Just leave him. For my sake. So you let him go. Even without his arms, he may cause you more trouble. One day. I didn't want to end it here. He might deserve it, but he did take care of my mother, so... Mm. Let's go back. I suppose I can bring myself to step foot on this flagship, after all. Ah! My arms! My arms! Bastards! I'm... I'm gonna kill them! Every last one of them! Information has changed as Enderline Praetorium is beginning to make moves in the shadows. We have Hugo, we have Adam, we have Laura back on squad with Jin. Everything's good. Oh, thank God. But still. Big yikes. Carrying on. Reached the second stage of a blade combo five times. You see, now that we've got Laura, what we should be able to do is kick that bitching, aren't we interested? Overaffectionate Murph's ass. I feel like we can now that we've got Laura. I feel like we can. Actually, I do want to get that. Right, here we go. Give me that. Aren't we intrepid? What's in here? The suspense is. Don't have to nope. tell me okay. twice. Can't win them all. That's fine. Right, so. <sighs> that was heavy. That was actually really heavy story stuff. Like, it's hard to watch sometimes when you see someone that you care about in such great peril. And yet, knowing that they're going to be safe anyway, it's just, I don't know, there's something about, Xenoblade does something to me. Xenoblade just does something to me. And I love it. 
Especially that music. Ah, oh, <laughs> my God. I love it. The music is so good. So, we need someone who's quite chunky. And who can take quite a lot of hits. So, I think we are going to try and do over affectionate Murph one more time. Oh, I should check out Laura's accessories as well. Here we go. Right. So we've outfitted Hugo and what's his name? Adam. I'm really forgetting Adam's name. That's so bad. Right. Let's use an art of cancelling an art. 1,500. We're only on 954. That's okay. So, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, accessories. Here we go. Right. What are you working with? Right. Red thread. Uh, driver blade. Infinity by 110. Fluffy hat. Red thread. 120. Friendship ring. Increase the HP restore when reviving a teammate by... Yes! Because I feel like we're going to be doing that a lot. Beast hood. Increase aggro reduction by 21%. Yes! Because aggro is Hugo's game. That's what he's built to do. Right. So. Let's carry on with this. Oh, there is one more thing. Very quickly. I do just want to save. So. Wow. Nice. Right. Where's over affectionate Murph? Eh, maybe somewhere. Where is this big chicken bitch? <laughs> Yay. Oh. A little conversation can be nice, but it breeds complacency. I love Bridget. Bridget is best girl in this game. I don't care. Like, Laura is a very, very, very good girl. But Bridget is best girl. Right. Um, let me... Who are we looking for? We're looking for Bridget. Right, okay. Affinity chart? No, we're not. It's Mithra, isn't it? No. Nope. Haze. I've improved measurably. Thank you, chick. Jin, that's it. More power for our cause. Brilliant. There we go. Powering them up. There you are. Friend. Friend whose ass I will kick. Come on, let's go. I trust I will not disappoint you. Let's do it, and let's concentrate. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Right, Adam, I've got that. Nice. Heal up. Doing fine. Right, got this HP potion. Nice. What? No. All right, desynced. Oh, good God. Can we not? Right. I might have to get rid of these Joy Cons at some point. Not only has it done it in Bayonetta, it's done it in this. So, back to kicking over affectionate Murph's ass. Carrying on. <laughs> Yay! We did it! You're always looking ahead, Adam. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh? Such as? Just don't shoulder all the burden yourself. You have us to rely on too sometimes. That's really sweet. So we actually managed to get three out of the five level two stage blade combos from that. So, if you have a look at this, 
we've got the name Tombstone. Now that means that because we beat the over affectionate Murph, the unique monster actually gained a grave. So if we interact with the grave, we can battle it again if we so choose. Of course, it's a choice. This is becoming addictive. You don't have to take it, but if you do choose to, cool. And plus, it's really good for helping you grind up experience and stuff. Yay! Right, um... You know what, actually, yeah. I'm gonna get those last two. I'm gonna wrap this bit up. Wrap up this side quest. And then I think we'll call it an episode. So, let's start with the unique monster again. Where is it? Hi, friend! Okay, here we go. Right. Two. Three. Nice. Notice this time we're starting with Jin instead. Overfectionate Murphy is weak to ice. Right, give me that. Thank you. Right, brilliant. Nice. We're doing really well with this. I say that and immediately we start dying. Okay. No! Right, Adam, pick me up. Thanks. Right, heal up. Nice. Okay, we're doing good. Oh my god! Thanks! I think we just got it. Right, nice. So even if we fail trying to kill him, which we didn't, we've just finished that. Right. Nope, no clue. I have a long way to go before I can, can measure use up this? to her ladyship. And we don't need that HP potion <laughs> because obviously we're out of battle. We are gaining our levels, uh, levels, HP anyway. So let's go talk back to Krogane. Hey, buddy. I forgot what voice I get him. Shoot. Oh well. Excellent work. I can tell you performed the five blade combos I asked for. I'll report the good news to Roly Poly, my driver. I have to hand it to you. You've passed the preliminary test with flying colors. Oh? Didn't I tell you? This is a two step process. The real test starts now. Considering your skills, I'd say you're ready to move straight on to the next step. I'll be here, so be sure to come back and talk to me whenever you're ready, and we'll continue. Good luck to you all. Quest. Blade coaching. Complete! Yay! One less problem in the world. Yay. So, we did that. Well, here we are. Welcome aboard, my honored guests. It's funny. I was expecting it to be all glitz and glamour. Halls of gold, diamond chandeliers and all that. <laughs> but there's nothing like that here. I like this much better. It all depends on the country. Some of the nobility like to travel in style. Believe me, they don't go halfway. More Ardain, on the other hand, is a military state. They take a more pragmatic approach. Just as their emperor must be a masterful driver, so must their diplomatic vessels be armed for war. That is the Ardenian way. 
So long as its mission is not a covert one, every flagship under our command must be a throne I may ascend. And if the leader is the first to fall, what then? Chin? It's alright, Laura. He makes a valid point. That is precisely why Aegean and Bridget, the jewels of the Empire, have been bestowed upon me. Your Majesty. We will do everything in our power to protect you, Your Majesty, even at the cost of our lives. I am blessed to have such loyal companions. Your Majesty, we have our urgent news! His Majesty is currently entertaining guests. I would entreat that you not incur his displeasure. My, my, my humble apologies, Your Majesty. It's alright. I trust this is news of special importance. Please give us your tidings. Of course, Your Majesty. As you know, we've applied strict regulations to our scout patrols in light of the recent tragedy at Torigoth. Well, one of our patrols happened upon a young Gormotti near the camp in Sagal Fall, but they lost track of him. So, you think he might be a survivor? We believe so. We can send out further patrols immediately if His Majesty assents. I see. I'm sorry that we had to keep you waiting. Please, go ahead. D yes, Your Majesty. I would like for our country to go shelter as many refugees as falls within our means. I do hope he can be found quickly. Wait, we should go with them. What for? Their army's not exactly short-staffed. He's just a kid. He'll be scared witless of the soldiers. Of course he's going to run away. Laura's got a point. Very well, let's head out. We would do well to make haste before he strays any farther afield. Thanks, guys. You're a bunch of do-gooders. It's gonna lead us in trouble someday. Main story quest. Where's the boy gone? I hope we'll be able to help. I think today's as good as a point to wrap up this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Turn to the Golden Country. So, if you have enjoyed, please feel free to like, press subscribe, and, like I always said in a Bayonetta Let's Play, I will catch you guys on the flip side, okay? But in the meantime, stay safe and have a nice day. Goodbye.